Hello and welcome back to another episode of Dwarf Fortress 2014 with me, the Green Dragon. Let us continue and hopefully good things will happen to us, as always. Right, I will need a lot more masons in order to make things stick at some point. But for now, what we need is to work on maintaining our crazy crazy industries and that requires massive amounts of wood due to the need for fuel because we don't have magma. In order to have magma, magma pumps must be arranged. Also this needs to be dug out whenever the miners are ready and they're not currently working on anything so clearly they can start working on this. Or it at least appears to be the case that they can start working on this, which is great since I would like them to work on this. Hence, a certain amount of awesomeness. And they are really going at it. Nice. Very nice indeed. Graving masterpieces too. That's great as well. Perfect. 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 Of course, that is down below, right? Here. And here. Yes, even with 11 engravers, it takes a long time to work through all of that. You know what, in future fortresses, I won't bother with skilled engravers. For the ordinary stuff, I'll just have like a dozen of them. And start smoothing in engraving rooms from the very start. Just as a mass effort. Just as a mass effort. Well, I should probably take a close look at what I find in here, shouldn't I? And then there is that. Yes. Hmm. Okay. That's good-ish. Good-ish. And you are happily engraving more things. I don't know. Should this be considered the halfway mark for them? I'm not so sure. Two fifths, maybe. That would probably be more accurate. Okay. Okay, let's have some mechanisms so that we can wall off this bridge. Because that sounds like a thing. No, there were some decent trees which you managed to cut down. Hopefully without getting your face smashed open. Okay, yep, new trees cropping up and stuff happening and just generally goodness. You should have enough trees for a while with the amount we've watered cut though. Which should be good. Which should be good. Are we good on bulls actually? Yes we are. Um, stocks, prepared meals, nearly 3,000, so we have enough food for years, years, actually. Uh, why don't we have a lever for that here, out of claystone? Why don't we do that? And this was the perfect place to have the thingy. Of thinginess. Okay, so kindly dig me away into the mountain. We're gonna start building our mill assembly, especially if we have a significant amount of wood ready to go right now, which is kind of important for the project anyway. Then we can start doing something like just a massive haul of. Well, maybe not here per se. Okay, maybe something like this for a start. Yeah, that's about right. And we'll just make a huge thingy here of stuff. 
nice thingy, nice. Just a huge power assembly, right? A huge power assembly for glory. For the glory of the fortress. Obviously. You have apparently done with that. Okay, that's fine. What else can we go do? I guess native gold makes a certain amount of sense. So, let's smelt some more gold. That does make some... Some sense. That one claystone stair, right? And then we have this where glorious things are happening. I'll remove that, at least. I don't know. Do I want to make this walled off? Suppose it would make a certain amount of sense if I did. Hmm. Then again, I mean, don't see much point of doing that right now. Okay. Let's say we start right here. Okay. And have like a something like this. Well, this actually works out pretty well. Okay, let's say that will be you know what 5x5 five five windmills. 5x5 five five is perfectly okay for a start. And then we have this place. Um, up till here, yes. Ditch that. And the rest can be safely dug out. I think this will work out fine. This is good, and we might also find a bit more castrite, which certainly wouldn't hurt, since we do have a rather limited supply of bronze, and I wouldn't mind getting a bit more. It doesn't have to be a fracton, but a bit wouldn't hurt, certainly. I mean, we have sort of enough, but the more the better, right? The approach digging that out from below or something. You might be. That would be kind of awesome if you did. Do you? Or do you come up, up here and do it that way? Oh yeah, you come up here. Which is perfectly fine. Okay. So we'll probably want to dump this out and then focus on... Oh, you're making masterpiece granite cabinets. That's fine too. That's perfectly fine too. We'll be placing some more of them in rooms, I suppose. Okay, so that's milk quartzes, which is perfectly fine. Speaking of, I should take a look at this. Okay, you are done with the golden barrels. Good thing I checked. In that case... In that case, you have... Light yellow diamonds to work over. Okay, and clear tourmalines as well, I suppose. Yes, we'll do those next. We've moved all the diamonds in here. So, let's focus on the actual clear tourmalines next. Having a bit of problem with the carrying capacity, I suppose. In part because all our miners are currently actually mining and not doing other things, of course. Coyote leather shoe. Hmm. Let's take a look. Is anyone really crappily set up with things? Like you're upset that. What? Why are you upset? You don't have any reason to be upset. So some of you have worn clothing, but everyone is dressed, so that's okay. Okay. Okay, that's good. 
next? Machines. We need to start building gear assemblies here. We won't have enough granite or any mechanisms really to make all this at once, but that's okay. You, We don't really have to. Starting with, say, 20 is perfectly... or 15 even, is perfectly fine and legit. There, that's a good start. Again, it doesn't have to be done all at once, it's just important that we start slowly working on it. Otherwise it's gonna take a metric fuckton of time before we're actually done and it's gonna be a big annoying mess and you know, we don't want that. So it's better to get started slowly now than to suddenly realize that we need to... We need to have done this a long time ago, which would kind of suck. Okay, let's... Ah, don't have enough mechanisms for that. Fui! Wow. Someone grew up to become a dwarven child. Well. What name is that? Whipperplexed. Okay. Sure, dwarves. If that's how it's gonna be, sure. How are we on mechanics? Scene one, two, and that's about it. You are miners, but that's about it. Well, siege engineers as well, but it's not particularly important. You have architecture and you have glass making. You can stay on that. Hmm. You have a great many things, but the stuff I need isn't one of them. You're a good woodcrafter, but you're a kid, so you won't do anything until... Well... You just won't do anything. So we have two of those. Two mechanics across the entire fort. That does not seem a healthy thing to be at, but hopefully they'll slowly start working on these things. Next... Machines and... Mills. Let's... Just... Okay, so until those are built, we won't get anything from there. Okay, fine, good to know, I suppose. What the frack is that? Giant cave swallow. Eh, whatever. But we are cutting down those trees, which is good. We are cutting down those trees, which is good. We are also apparently out of plump helmet spawn. You know, I can probably live with that, actually. How are you doing on this? Progress? Yeah, actually, good progress. Very good progress. Nice. They are getting places. And you, have you gotten your first... Wow, you're all up to level 2, actually, for the most part. At level 2 or close to it. Great, so you'll be actually working significantly faster than level 1, guys. That is perfect. What's the amount of 51? 51 is good. 51 is really, really good. I mean, we are 139 levels up here, and the magma level is at minus 15. Or minus 13. So, quite a bit. We need a lot of supplies for that kind of a magma pump. But we'll get there. We'll eventually build these. For great justice and glory, of course, we will build these. We will have this. We will have this. Wow, you went through those fast, huh? Good job, I suppose. How valuable are these raw? 90, so we can expect 150 from them when they are cut. That's good, and these are worth 30, so 50 when cut. Alright. Okay, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. And that's just blood, and lots of it. Now it looks like the ash is clearing off with new vegetation growing in places. Not so much here, this is gonna be dead forever it seems. But you know, 
you know. At least, after that titan thing attacked, we... Nature is slowly recovering, sort of. Okay, and generally things here are looking pretty good. Pretty damn good, in fact. And you are happily cutting all the things, which is again great. Which is again great. And we are apparently out of light yellow diamonds, which is perfectly fine. We don't need to have those. It's okay. It's okay not to have them. And you are gonna grab one from that. That's fine. That's fine. Good, good, good. Do have like a couple of hundred rough gems. Should have a decent amount of cut gems too at some point. But that can of course wait. You can always make more. I mean, we should at the very least cut all of our gems, right? Because there's no real need, not real point in not doing that. And you know, you know the map is so full of gems, we are not gonna run out probably before we get bored of this fortress, so really trying to min-max it like that by saving all the precious gems until you're ready to... No, screw that. The clear tourmalines at least, we are definitely gonna encrust. Probably the golden barrels as well, actually. Cause screw it. Just screw it. I mean, who cares? Speaking of, let's place a few more of these oh so awesome cabinets because people, rooms, epicness. Epicness. Wow, and these don't have any cabinets at all. Well, that's an oversight. That's an oversight and a half. Let's just fix that, shall we? Okay, so we should continue making more cabinets now. Okay, great. Someone got shaken, so building construction will be cancelled and stupid crap will now ensue. Where one of these will be happily suspended. Awesome. Right? No, apparently not. Okay then, that's fine. Resuming production on rock cabinets. Exactly as it should be. Exactly as it should be. Okay, good. Slowly but surely we are working through the list. And that's great. Okay, this is your room and you are just... You're the fracked up one. Okay, that's a cobaltite cabinet, that's good. And I think your thing is already engraved. Yes, so you will actually be the first to get a golden statue. And why don't we take a... Make an effort to make it a masterwork one. There we go. That should happify you, moderately. Hopefully. It should. It really should. Well, here's to hoping, right? Right, stumbling around obliviously. Great. How fracked up are you? Wounded, so annoying. Yes. Yeah, dwarves getting wounded really fucks them up. Of course, they don't distress the way they're supposed to in this version, so over the long term, dwarves tend to disintegrate, but... You know. Okay, we have just enough actual thingies and then we have this place where things have been done all right so how do I want to set this up um, suppose like this horizontal Horizontal, horizontal, 
Let's just have these all neatly set up, ready to go. We're gonna need so much mechanics to set this up. I will probably turn my engraver brigade into mechanics as well. Just so that they can have a thing to thingify. Cause reasons. Okay, this should be good and then... Right. And change orientation like that. No, 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 no. Horizontal change like so. So that will create an integrated thingamajiggy, which will be able all hooked together. So here we have a few things, and we can make some mills to start these turning. Let's just uh, get started on some of those, at least. Because again, slowly get started on this, it's just something I'll be slowly working on. Without, you know, getting too stressed about it, but something I will be doing and working towards, because it's something I want to accomplish. Because gods damn it, one of these fortresses I need to build a magma forge set near the fracking surface. And I need to incinerate at least one goblin invasion. It has to happen. It just has to happen. It's not even a question of if it has to happen. Period. Needs to be done. I can't really take them off of engraving though, because I need them engraving and smoothing great many things. There's a lot of work that still needs to be done in the fortress actually. Hmm. Because, seriously, I'm not even done with the bedrooms. And there's a fair bit left to do there. And then there's the other levels, which need to be at least smooth. And just, no, there's, there's work to be done. How the frack did I think that having only three freaking engravers was a good idea? Jeez. That ends up working so slowly, it's crazy. Okay, you are yet another guy that is miserable. Okay, why are you pissed? Horrified after seeing several silver equals die. See, pleasure, 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 satisfied, blissful, one horrified. And that's it. Yeah, that does seem a bit over much. Of course, the starter pack hasn't actually been updated to the versions that have this patch, so... I'm not gonna play without the starter pack. I'm not a masochist. I really, really don't want to play without the starter pack. That seems like a bad idea. So instead we're gonna be sadistic towards our dwarves and let them suffer and die of stress-related injuries. Cause I'm just nice that way. Cause I'm just nice that way. Okay, actually. Something I need to do. Rock statue. Yes. We do have a few of those ready actually. So why don't we look into making a few more tombs while we are at it. And then we can have one obviously here. It's a bit too far. But you know, something along these lines. And we'll just place them all in the appropriate places and it's gonna be glorious. Yes, 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 mess, 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 as usual, but we'll find ways to make it work. Okay, that needs to be done, that needs to be done, and that generally fixes a great many things. Alright, and we need one more tile here, of course, obviously. 
because proper tombage is important. Okay, so... How many of those statues do I have? Probably... Something like that. Okay. There we go. That should be more or less accountable for all the stone statues we currently have. So that should be about right, all things considered. Alright. That's good. That's good, good, good. Because we'll need to get them out of the way to avoid accidents when we start placing the awesome ones. We don't actually have cabinets because all our masons are busy doing other things. Great. Yeah, that sounds about right. They're busy making stuff down below, obviously. And this requires architecturings. Right, of course it does. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? That requires a whole lot of mechanization stuff. Again, perfectly fine and understandable, really. Uh, what's the inventory on these? Well, not that amazing, but progressing. We have about a third of what we will need, I think. About a third of what we will need. And we are apparently out of clear tourmalines here. So what next? I think Heliodors is up next. Uh, Heliodors. Yes. So we'll move Heliodors over to this thing and start working on those. So, though of course I'm not currently working on any specific... Well, I'm not digging any gems. Not of any kind, really, so these bins should stay where they are and should be safe to just order a bunch of gems cut normally, and that should not be a problem. Okay, dig out that tile. It would look a lot nicer if that was dug out. I think. Not that it makes that big a difference, but why the frack not? Oh, Heliodors are green. I thought they were purple for some reason. Go figure. So down below, okay, that is progressing very nicely. We are about two thirds done, I guess. Something like that. So that's good. We're making progress. And Neil Atisnetsik has risen. Did you get buried? Okay, so I assume we have slabs, right? I mean, we have to. Engrave memorial slab. Okay, so those two are not actually... ...memorialized. Alright. Okay, fine, we'll work on it. Anyway, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, so see...